Chapter 1 About Myself Hello, I am Kavita. I am a girl. I am 5 years old. This is my friend Ankit. Ankit is a boy. He lives near my house. Tell me about yourself. Are you a boy or a girl? Boy Girl We all have a first name and a surname. Some of us even have a nickname. Nickname is the name by which your parents call you. To the teacher Encourage the children to talk about themselves, their friends and families. Ask them to tell the class about their interests, hobbies, favorite foods, clothes, TV programs, etc. Chapter 2 Our Body Our body is a wonderful machine. It has many parts. Each part of the body has a name. Each part does some work. Let us learn the names of different parts of our body. Hair Nose Ear Chin Thumb Hand Fingers Arm Eye Chest Shoulder Waist Neck Knee Thigh Leg Toes Foot How do our body parts help us? All parts of our body are useful. They help the body to do many things. We work with our hands. We can hold and pick things with our fingers. We can work, run and jump with the help of our legs. We can stand on our feet. We can bite and chew with our teeth. Quick Revision our body has many parts. The main parts of our body are head, ears, eyes, mouth, arms and legs. Chapter 3 Our Sense Organs We have five sense organs. These are eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin. They help us to know more about the world around us. Let us learn more about them. We see with our eyes. We hear with our ears. We smell with our nose. We feel hot and cold with our skin. Our body is covered with skin. We taste with our tongue. Quick revision! Our eyes, nose, ears, tongue and skin are called sense organs. We sense things with our sense organs. Chapter 4 Taking Care of Body We must take proper care of our body. Only a healthy body can work properly. We can do the following things to be fit and healthy. We should sleep early at night. We should wake up early in the morning. We should go for a morning walk daily. It keeps us fresh and active. We should brush our teeth twice in a day. We must take a bath daily. We should wash our hands before and after every meal. We should trim our nails. We should comb our hair. We should not eat junk food. We should Always drink clean and fresh water. Exercise helps us become strong and healthy. Walking, running, playing and swimming are good for health. Quick Revision Only a healthy body can work properly. We should not eat junk food. Good food and exercise are good for our health. Chapter 5 My Family We all have families. Father, mother 
and their children together make a family. Our mother and father are known as our parents. The other children of our parents are our brothers or sisters. A small family. Parents and their one or two children make a small family. So, a small family has only three or four members. A small family is a happy family. A big family. Parents and their three or more children make a big family. So, a big family has many members. A big family usually faces difficulties. To the teacher. Ask the children about the names of their family members. Encourage them to help their parents and other members of the family. A joint family. A joint family has parents, grandparents, uncle, aunt and their children. It is enjoyable to live in a joint family. Relationships Members of a family have relationships among them. The father of your mother or father is your grandfather. The mother of your mother or father is your grandmother. The sister of your mother or father is your aunt. Your uncle's wife is also your aunt. The brother of your father or mother is your uncle. Your aunt's husband is also your uncle. The daughters or sons of your aunt and uncle are your cousins. Helping each other Members of a family love and support each other. Parents Our parents work hard to give us a comfortable life. They buy clothes, food, books and many other things for us. They keep our house neat and clean. They take care of us when we are ill. They help us with our studies. Children We should Obey and respect our elders. Help our mother in the kitchen. Receive and serve our guests. Water the plants in the garden. Help our parents in their daily works. Bring bread and milk from the nearby shop. Quick revision. A family consists of mother, father and their children. There are three types of families, small, big and joint family. A small family is a happy family. Members of a family have relationships among them. Chapter 6 Our House We live in a house. It has walls and is covered by a roof. It has doors and windows. It protects us from heat cold, rain, thieves, and stray animals. We feel safe in our house. When a family lives in a house, it becomes a home. To the teacher, ask the children about their houses and their different parts. Also ask them about the purpose of each part of the house. Types of Houses there are many types of houses. Some houses are big and some are small. They can be divided into two main groups. Kacha houses and Pakka houses. Kacha house. Some houses are made of wood, bamboo, leaves, mud and straw. Their roofs are made up of dry grass or thatch. These houses are not very strong. These are known as kacha houses. They are mostly found in villages. Huts are common examples of kacha houses. Pakka house. Some houses are built of bricks, cement and steel. Their doors and windows 
are made of glass and wood. These houses are very strong. These are called pakka houses. Bungalows and multi-storied buildings are pakka houses. They are mainly found in towns and cities. Different rooms in a house. A good house is that which has many rooms, windows and doors. Doors and windows let in fresh air and sunlight. Let us know what we do in different parts of our house. We entertain our guests in the drawing or living room. We take our meals in the dining room. We study and work in the study room. We cook in the kitchen. We take a bath in the bathroom. We sleep in the bedroom. Taking care of house. Keep your things at their proper places. Throw wastes into a dustbin. Help your elders in keeping the house clean. Grow plants around your house. Quick revision. A house protects us from heat, cold, rain, thieves and stray animals. There are mainly two types of houses. Kacha houses and pakka houses. A good house is one which has many rooms, windows and doors. Chapter 7 Our Food We eat food when we feel hungry. Food helps our body to grow. It gives us energy to work and play. It makes our body healthy and strong. We eat different kinds of food. We eat chapatis, rice and pulses. We eat bread, butter, curd, meat and eggs. We eat fruits and vegetables. We also drink milk. It is a complete food. From where do we get food? We get our food from plants and animals. We get food grains, pulses, fruits and vegetables from plants. We get meat, eggs and milk from animals. Do you know cheese, butter, ice cream and ghee are made from milk? Eating time We usually eat food three times a day. We take breakfast in the morning. We take lunch in the afternoon. We take dinner at night. Junk food Children like to eat pizzas, burgers, chocolates, chips, ice creams and noodles. These are called junk food. Doctors say that junk food is not good for our health. Good food habits Good food habits make us healthy and happy. Here is a list of some good food habits that we all should follow. Wash your hands before and after every meal. Take your meals on time. Eat slowly and chew the food well. Never eat uncovered food. It contains germs. Germs make you sick. Drink plenty of water every day. Quick Revision Food helps our body to grow. We get our food from plants and animals. We eat food three times a day. Junk food is not good for our health. Chapter 8 Our Clothes We need clothes to cover our body. Clothes protect our body from heat, cold, rain, dust and germs. Clothes make us look smart. We wear different types of clothes in different seasons of the year. In the summer season, we wear cotton clothes in summer. Light colored cotton clothes keep our body cool. 
they also absorb sweat in the winter season we wear woolen clothes in winter woolen clothes keep our body warm in the rainy season we wear raincoats and use umbrellas in the rainy season raincoats and umbrellas protect us from rain on special occasions we wear beautiful and colorful clothes on special occasions like festivals and birthdays uniforms people who do special jobs wear uniforms children also wear uniform in school taking care of clothes we should take good care of our clothes we should wash and iron our clothes regularly we should not play at dirty places we should keep our clothes in a cupboard we should keep our clothes away from insects and rats quick revision clothes protect us from heat cold rain dust and germs we wear different kinds of clothes in different seasons of the year we wear colorful clothes on special occasions people who do special jobs wear uniforms chapter 9 plants in our world there are different types of plants around us let us learn about them trees some plants are big and strong they are called trees a tree has a strong stem called the trunk people banyan date palm and coconut are some examples of trees shrubs some plants are smaller than trees they are called shrubs shrubs have many hard and thin branches rose and cotton plants are examples of shrubs to the teacher visit a nearby park or nursery along with the children show them various kinds of plants there herbs some plants are very small they are called herbs herbs have soft green stems most herbs are seasonal mint wheat rice and grass are examples of herbs climbers some plants are weak they are not able to stand by themselves They need the support of other plants and walls to stand. They are called climbers. Money plant and grape vine are examples of climbers. Creepers. Some plants have very weak stems. They cannot stand. They spread along the ground. They are called creepers. Pumpkin and watermelon are examples of creepers some plants have thorns thorns keep animals away from the plants do you know pumpkin is the biggest vegetable in the world parts of a plant plants also have different parts look at the given picture to know about them flower fruit leaf bud stem root all plants grow from seeds they need water soil air and sunlight to grow uses of plants we get food grains fruits and vegetables from plants we use wood of various trees to make furniture We get coffee and tea from plants. We use flowers like rose to make perfumes. Plants make our world beautiful. They keep the air fresh and give us shade. Plants are an important gift of nature to us. 
we should not cut them down we should protect them we should grow more plants quick revision there are different kinds of plants around us a tree has a strong stem called the trunk herbs have soft green stems thorns keep animals away from the plants plants are an important gift of nature to us chapter 10 animals in our world we see many kinds of animals around us some animals are very small some animals are small some animals are big do you know the giraffe is the tallest animal the elephant is the biggest land animal to the teacher take the children to a zoo show them different kinds of animals there try to develop in each child the feeling of love and care towards animals animals have many groups let us learn about these groups domestic animals animals that are tamed by us are called domestic animals they live around us and are very useful to us they give us many things these animals give us milk buffalo cow goat these animals carry our loads horse camel donkey a dog guards our house a sheep gives us wool a bullock plows our fields birds most birds can fly they have two wings to fly they have two legs to walk or hop their bodies are covered with feathers They have beaks to eat grains, fruits and worms. Sparrow, pigeon, duck, hen, parrot. Wild animals. Animals that live in forests are called wild animals. They roam around freely in forests. We can also see them in a zoo. Tiger, zebra, monkey, bear, deer, fox, cobra. Do you know the peacock is our national bird? The ostrich is the biggest bird. Water animals. Some animals live in water. They are called water animals. Some of these animals have fins to swim in water. Fish, starfish, octopus, dolphin. Insects. Insects are very small animals. Some insects have wings. They can fly in the air. All insects have six legs. butterfly grasshopper cockroach pets some people love to keep animals and birds at home animals or birds which are kept at home are called pets pets are very useful to us a parrot can talk like us a cat keeps the mice away parrot cat fish dog care for animals animals are our friends they need our love and care we must feed them well we must not tease them we should clean our pet regularly quick revision animals are big and small in size Domestic animals give us many things. Wild animals live in forests. All insects have six legs. Chapter 11 Water 
Water is very essential for everyone. We all need water for various purposes. We use water for drinking, bathing, cooking, washing clothes, cleaning utensils, putting out fire. Plants need water to grow. They also need water to prepare their food. Plants prepare their food with the help of water, sunlight and air. To the teacher Encourage the children to save water. Tell them about the water animals and water plants. Also tell them about various sources of water. Animals and birds also need water. They need water for drinking and bathing. Some animals live only in water. Sources of water We get water from many sources like the rain, rivers, ponds, lakes, wells, hand pumps and tube wells. But all these sources depend on rain. So, rain is the main source of water. Well, hand pump, tube well, river, lake. Drinking water. Water of rivers and lakes is not clean and pure. It contains germs which can make us sick. We should boil our drinking water for 10 minutes to kill germs. We can also filter water. Boiled or filtered water is safe for drinking. Do you know? We should drink at least 6 glasses of water every day. Quick revision. We need water every day for many purposes. Plants need water to grow. Rain is the main source of water. Water of rivers and lakes is not clean. Boiled water is safe for drinking. Chapter 12 The Earth We all live on the earth. It is round in shape. It is made up of land and water. Land is not the same everywhere. Let us study about different features of land. Plain Flat land is called the plain. The land in plains is fertile. Many people live in the plains. They grow many crops. Hill The high part of land is called a hill. Only a few people live in the hills. Mountain A very high hill is called a mountain. The tops of the mountains are covered with snow. Plateau The flat land at the top of a mountain or a hill is called a plateau. A plateau is also called a table land. Valley the low land between two mountains or hills is called a valley. The land of a valley is very fertile. Many people live in valleys. Forest A piece of land with a large number of trees is called a forest. Wild animals live in the forests. Desert a big part of land covered with sand is called a desert. There is very little water in a desert. So, a desert has very few plants and animals. Island A piece of land surrounded by water on all sides is called an island. Rivers, lakes, seas and oceans make the water part of the earth. You will learn about these features of water in class 2. Quick Revision The earth is round in shape. It is made up of land and water. The main land features are plains, hills, mountains, plateaus, valleys, deserts 
and islands. Rivers, seas, lakes and oceans make the water part of the earth. Chapter 13 In the Sky Look up in the open and you will see the sky. It looks blue during the day. The Sun The Sun is a big ball of fire. It gives us heat and light. The Sun rises in the east every morning. When the Sun rises in the morning, it is day. The Sun sets in the west every evening. When the Sun sets in the evening, it is night. The Moon We see the Moon at night. The Moon is also round in shape. The Moon is smaller than the Sun. The Moon does not have any light of its own. It is lit by the light of the Sun. The Moon changes its shape every night. Sometimes it is round. Sometimes it looks like a sickle. Sometimes it is not seen at all. Shapes of the Moon Crescent Moon Half Moon Full Moon Half Moon Crescent Moon The Stars We see millions of stars twinkling in the sky at night. Some stars are very big. They are even bigger than the sun. They look small because they are very far away from us. The stars have their own light. Do you know? The first men to land on the moon were Neil Armstrong and Edwin Aldrin. Quick revision! The sky looks blue during the day. The sun gives us heat and light. The moon has no light of its own. The stars look small because they are very far away from us. Chapter 14 Weather and Seasons Weather is the condition of air around us. There are different types of weather. It can be cloudy, rainy or sunny. Weather may change in a few hours or days. It is cloudy. It is rainy. It is sunny. The seasons change more slowly. A season lasts for three or four months. There are three main seasons in India. Summer season. Summer is the warmest time of the year. The sun shines very brightly. We wear light cotton clothes. We like to drink plenty of water and cold drinks. Winter season Winter is the coldest time of the year. In the mountains, it snows in winter. We wear woolen clothes and like to take hot drinks. Rainy season Sometimes, it rains a lot in most places. We have to wear raincoats and use umbrellas to protect ourselves from the rain. We call this the rainy season. Quick Revision Weather may be sunny, cloudy, windy or rainy. It changes from day to day. There are three main seasons. Summer, Winter and Rainy. Summer is the warmest time of the year. Chapter 15 Means of Transport We cannot go everywhere on foot. We need to use some means of transport. What we use to go from one place to another place is called means of transport. People in villages use animals such as bullocks, horses, camels, elephants, donkeys and ponies as means of transport. However, there are cars, buses, tractors, scooters and bicycles also in the villages. In cities, 
people use vehicles such as motorcycles, cars, trucks, buses, trains, vans, boats, ships and aeroplanes as means of transport. All these means of transport are divided into three categories land transport, air transport and water transport. Land transport Land transport includes those vehicles which move on land, bicycles, scooters, motorcycles, cars, trucks, buses and auto rickshaws are the means of land transport. All these vehicles run on wheels. Do you know? Trains are the cheapest means of transport. The train is another means by which we travel on land. Trains run on tracks. Metro trains also run on tracks. Air transport Air transport includes those vehicles which fly in the air. Aeroplanes and helicopters are the means of air transport. Aeroplanes are the fastest means of transport. We can travel long distances in a very short time in an aeroplane. Water transport Water transport includes those vehicles which sail on water. Boats, steamers and ships are the means of water transport. Boats and steamers sail in the rivers and carry people and loads. Ships carry passengers and heavy goods from one country to another. They sail in the seas and oceans. Quick Revision We use different types of vehicles to travel from one place to another. Land transport includes those vehicles which move on land. Air transport includes those vehicles which fly in the air. Water transport includes those vehicles which sail on water. Chapter 16 Safety Rules We get hurt when we are careless and not alert. We must follow safety rules to keep ourselves and others safe. Let us learn about some important safety rules that we should follow. At home, do not jump on the bed. Do not play with fire. Do not touch blades, knives and scissors. Do not take medicines on your own. Do not touch open switches. Do not try to climb on a window or a shelf. In a swimming pool. Do not go alone into the swimming pool. In a swimming pool, use a swimming tube. Do not go to the deep side in the pool. Do you know? Swimming needs maximum energy among all the games. If you want to be slim and smart, start swimming. On the road. Always walk on the footpath. Cross the road at the zebra crossing. The red light says stop. The yellow light says wait. The green light says go. Cross the road only when it is clear. Do not play on or near the road. In the playground. Always play in the open grounds and parks. Always wear shoes while playing in the grounds and parks. Always play a safe game. At the bus stop. Always stand in a queue while waiting for the bus. Do not push others while getting into the bus. Do not get on or off a moving bus. Do not lean out of the windows of a moving bus. Do not disturb the driver. In the classroom, do not push or pull your classmates. Do not jump on the benches or desks. 
Do not throw dusters and chalk at others. If you get hurt, if you get hurt, report to your elders immediately. Your parents or teachers will help you. The treatment you get from your parents or teachers is called first aid. A good first aid is always useful to us. Quick revision. We get hurt when we are careless. We must follow safety rules everywhere. A good first aid is very useful to us. Chapter 17 Our Festivals India is called the land of festivals. People of different religions live here. They celebrate many festivals. Let us know about some festivals. The Shehra The Shehra is an important festival of the Hindus. It is a 10 day long festival. Ram Leela is staged for 9 days. On the 10th day, the effigies of Ravana, Kumkarna and Meghnar are burnt in open areas. The Shera is also known as Vijayadashmi. Diwali Diwali is celebrated to mark the return of Lord Rama to Ayodhya. People worship Lord Ganesha and Goddess Lakshmi on this day. Houses are decorated with candles, diyas and small bulbs. People exchange sweets and gifts with each other. Diwali is also called the festival of lights. Christmas Christmas is an important festival of the Christians. It is the birthday of Jesus Christ. It is celebrated on 25th of December every year. On this day, Christians decorate their houses with small Christmas trees. People exchange gifts. It is believed that Santa Claus leaves gifts for children under the Christmas tree at night. Eid Eid is the most important festival of the Muslims. On the day of Eid, people wear new clothes and go to Eidgah, mosques, to offer namaz. They greet each other saying Eid Mubarak. On this day, they prepare a special sweet dish called Sivaya. Guru Parv Guru Parvs are the birthdays of Sikh Gurus. On this day, people go to Gurudwaras to pray. They decorate Gurudwaras with lights. They all cook and eat food from a common kitchen called Langar. People distribute food and clothes among the poor. Holi Holi is an important festival of the Hindus. It is called the festival of colors. On this day, people throw colored water and gulal on each other. Children play with pichkaris. People offer sweets and guchias to each other. They sing and dance. Quick revision. India is called the land of festivals. The Shara is also known as Vijayadashmi. Christmas is the birthday of Jesus Christ. Holi is called the festival of colors. Chapter 18 Our Helpers Many people live around us. They do different kinds of work. They help us in daily life. Let us meet some of them. A farmer works in the fields. He grows food grains and vegetables for us. A teacher works in a school. She teaches us how to read and write. A doctor works in a hospital or clinic. He cures ill people. Do you know 
Doctors always carry a special instrument called a stethoscope. They use it to hear the sounds of the patient's heartbeat. A tailor works in a shop. He stitches our clothes. A sweeper works in the locality. He keeps roads and streets clean. A barber works in a saloon. He cuts our hair. A potter makes earthen pots for us. A cobbler makes and mends our shoes. A mason builds houses for us. A carpenter makes wooden furniture for us. A fireman works in a fire station. He puts out fire. A postman works in a post office. He brings our letters and parcels. A nurse takes care of patients. Many other people like traffic policemen, gardeners, milkmen, electricians, plumbers, etc. also live in our neighborhood. We should respect them quick revision a mason builds houses for us a cobbler makes and mends our shoes a nurse takes care of patients